Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis. In nuclear warfare, if attacker destroys the nuclear launch sites, the secondary strike capability becomes very important. That's where submarines with SLBM capabilities comes into picture as it can launch nuclear missiles. The SLBM stands for Submarine Launched Ballistic Missiles. In absence of it, the attacker wins the war after massive first strike. India is already facing tensions across its northern and northeastern borders with Pakistan and China. It becomes extremely important for India to have secondary nuclear strike capability for nuclear deterrence. India already has Arihang and Arighat class submarines capable of K-15 SLBM with a range of 750 kilometers. But is this enough to reach Kunklek, China? Definitely not. The good news is that India is working on three nuclear-powered ballistic submarines codenamed S-5. Another three SLBM will be produced in next decade. The S-5 is reported to be similar to the American Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. It is one of the costliest defense project of India amounting to 90,000 crore rupees. S-5 will weigh twice as much as Arihant class submarines and will have a displacement of 13,500 tons. It will be equipped with submarine launched ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and torpedoes. Each S-5 will be equipped with 16 K-6 missiles having a range of 8,000 kilometers and explosive payload of 2 to 3 tons. With this range, each submarine can target 16 cities of China and with 3 submarines, 48 cities, which means whole of China can be destroyed just by these 3 submarines. With this type of nuclear capability and deterrence, China and Pakistan can never even think of nuclear attack. In worst case, let's assume they succeeded in destroying all of India's land-based launch sites. Navy can still retaliate from submarines and destroy the whole of China as it's near impossible to detect Indian submarines in Indian Ocean. The home base for S-5 will be in a submarine pane at Rambili, 50 km south of Visakhapatnam, called INS Varsha. It will be home to all nuclear submarines, ballistic and attack, and nuclear powered ships with underground planes to provide protection from drones and satellites. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.